King Kyle wants to know, he wants tips for cutting weight and ways or how to stop eating bad things and how to start eating good for weight loss and stuff. Controlled bad eating habits. Hawaiian. Daddy, I don't like this game. You gotta start off strict and then you can eventually, you can slack up. I don't like this game. Hang on. And I, I like to, um, I gotta, you gotta look at food as fuel, not as um, pleasure, you know? So I start off real hard when I start a diet, and then I lighten up, just like my week. I start out dieting real hard on Monday, and Sunday I take a light day, now that I'm, you know, as far as my diet goes. You know, so and I think that's the only way, is to be strict. And the other thing is to find a diet that you can adhere to. So you gotta find something that's, um, easy to follow, you know? Uh, for me, that might be egg whites in the morning, protein shake before I, you know, in the middle, you know, a simple lunch, which is usually my leftovers for dinner, or today I'm just having uh, black beans, uh, non-fat Greek yogurt, and some carne asada. You know, that's what I'm eating for lunch. I'll have another protein shake later in the day, and then I'll have a sensible dinner, you know, which will probably be salmon. You know, but if that's too hard for you, you can do something easy. You can get meal prep, or you can even go to Costco and buy those giant bags of pre-cooked chicken breasts. I used to do those when I was a bachelor, salmon patties, chicken breasts, the little one-serving packets of rice, because that's really all you need is one serving of rice. It's a little more expensive that way, but it makes it easy, and it keeps you from cheating. Okay, and seven what, olives and, and how do you and ten mushrooms? Seven olives and ten mushrooms. Yeah. How do you control the bad eating habits when you're at like the point of wanting to grab some bad food? What do you do when you're just do things? For me, my personality is everything in excess, nothing in moderation. So I know that I have a problem with gummy bears. I know that if I have a pack of gummy bears tonight, I'm gonna want one tomorrow, I'm gonna want one the next day. The only answer for me <coughs> is not to eat the gummy bears. I just can't have them, you know, and, and that, that's how I say it. The other thing is you have to have a, a meal plan. You have to have meals in place so that you're not in the supermarket starving or driving in your car by yourself on your way home starving to death with nothing in your fridge because you're gonna eat shit. You're gonna eat shit, you know. I always carry a couple protein shakes, protein bars with me in case I do get starving that way I can eat something like that and it'll at least curb it until I get home so I don't make that bad decision. <coughs> When someone is beginning to make this decision and trying to, and they decide that they want to cut weight, what are some staples that they can grab at the store to always have on hand? Like you just said, have protein bars and shakes in your car. Yeah, it's just gonna be easier the better. You know, I'm a firm believer that, you know, fill up on protein because for the amount of satiation you get, you, you consume the less, the least calories. For example, a pack of gummy bears is 400 calories. Um, a chicken breast is 90 calories. So I can eat a pack of chicken breast, or gummy bears, 400 calories in, I'm still going to hungry. I eat four chicken breasts, I'm I'm done. I'm stuffed and I've got good protein, good nutrition. You know, so as much protein as possible. You know, fill up on the protein, you know, healthy fats, but fats are high in calories, so make sure you keep those low. And and carbohydrates, you know, if you're a high output athlete, then I believe you probably need some carbohydrates. But you don't need as many. <clears throat> when you go out and you get plate lunch, you don't need that much fucking rice. That's just the bottom line. You know, you need a quarter of that. You need a cup of rice. That's it. All right. Thank you. Is there anything else that you may want to say to wrap it up? Nope. That was it. That was pretty good. All right.